start and how did you get to be in this position where you are right now? Um, well, I fast forward from, from um, moving places to places. I found a place I could call home and that's Curry Fitness, of course. Yes. Um, I remember being introduced, uh, introduced by uh, a guy called uh, Pieter, who is actually Dutch. Yeah. Uh, Pieter um, called, uh, we were at, uh, at a dinner in Kiev somewhere, and then uh, he was like, ah, there are these guys, um, they're actually setting up a gym. Uh, because my, of course, if everyone asked me what I do, what I did at that time, my, my professional introduction was, like, was that I'm a professional fitness uh, trainer. Yeah. So he was like, ah, okay. I have friends, he introduced me to people who were setting up a gym. It was two brothers, mm -hmm. one called Dend, another one called Alid, mm -hmm. who set up um, Kali Fitness. And uh, I remember after set, uh, setting up a meeting with them, we had a talk. And uh, basically, I was involved in the setup uh, from ground up oh, of, really? of, of Kali Fitness. Mm -hmm. And um, that may, I think gained me a lot of trust and uh, they treated me like a brother we sort of uh, started working together like that mm -hmm. uh, but still as an independent personal trainer and they were the gym owners but so you so, were one one of their first real personal trainers work in their gym then from the yes. ground up yeah okay yeah oh, interesting yeah so, so from there on you built your, yourself uh, how did you get from being one of the independent trainers to the um, uh, in the, on the floor yeah. to being now the business owner so basically um, uh, yeah eventually they, would, they also want uh, branched out to do other things and uh, um, for many years I've been like I don't know uh, the personal trainer slash the manager slash I don't know what other positions I had that were not official mm -hmm. so to a point where now um, uh, a couple of years back they uh, sort of moved out of Rwanda Mm -hmm. out of them and uh, there was only uh, nothing left to be uh, done except to sort of take it over so that's how uh, did they like discuss with you because where, where, where were they from they were from Sweden they were from Sweden yeah, yeah. so before they moved I would say like, before they moved back to Sweden did they like discuss with you like okay yeah but we want to move are you willing to take over or how did that process uh, come to be um, I think, no, the conversation was not, uh, I think, from their side to me. Mm -hmm. I think it was maybe from me to them, sort of um, like presenting my interest in, in, in running the gym. Mm. So, and then um, uh, there were um, discussions um, with, um, I think, if I remember, many people wanting to buy it and other people are interested in it, in doing other things uh, with it. Um, so I, I placed my interest as well. And uh, since I was uh, already in Cali, it seemed like an obvious uh, choice to, to make on their side. Okay. And uh, that's how it ended up. So they ended up just relocating back to Sweden and then leave you the, uh, the business? Yeah. Going into the business, so how was it like the that first year, let me just put it that way, just, you know, of you taking over. Were there like friction within the existing uh, members slash employees who were already working there? Or were they just, oh, Ivan, our guy, we know him, so it was like a smoothless transition? Transition. Uh, well, it was, I would say it was smooth. And uh, um, myself, I was, um, because I, I pre then, then, um, um, I, I, I was, um, you know, there is, there is, I feel like who I am that never changed regardless of whatever um, attributions or titles or anything you can put on my name. Mm -hmm. And since um, that is not really going to change anytime soon, I feel, um, it's, it's always easy to sort of um, um, go directions with, with the staff, with the team, with the... Uh, without uh, them feeling like there is a, a new sheriff in town or yeah. there is a new, there's any of those um, frictions that uh, could have occurred. Uh, I, I, don't, I remember hosting a, a staff meeting mm -hmm. and um, uh, ten, it was just to announce them, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, to announce the, 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 the new changes and uh, they, they received them really perfectly and everybody was happy because I feel like I have a good relationship with the staff. Yeah. Yeah.